let's try it so this is uh jam 2021 problem number 40 So here V is a finite dimensional vector space and T is a transformation from V to V. Okay. So we have the range and the null space. Okay. And uh, then uh, assume that uh, it's given that rank of t equals to rank of t square. Okay. Uh, which of the following is necessarily true? So, and is so this is I'm stand using the standard linear algebra notation this for null space. Null space of t is equal to null space of t square. So this is the question, first question. Is it true, false? If anything is not clear, then I mean, assume that you should ask me. So this will be very easy. So you just uh... yeah, Vishnu, you are saying something. No, I think so. This is false. Okay, why? Uh, one minute time. Arna, what do you think? Make a guess. Whatever you thought. It's true. It's true. Okay. Then what is the reason? Write it for properly. I'm just get get a assume. Okay. I think so, like uh, n of t will be a subset of n of t square, but the other direction will not come. Why do you think the other direction will not come? So, See, uh, 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 yes, go on. If you take any of uh, y in n of t square, so... Uh, T squared of y will be zero. So take some, no, uh, y in n of t squared. So uh -huh. yeah, t squared, yeah, is zero. So t of t of uh, y is zero, which uh, like, yeah. See, uh, since like t is a uh, operator, it is not one-to-one -one or anything is given. So we cannot conclude from this t of y is zero. I mean, we should not we should not uh, think about one to one because then the question is true. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then it's true. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah if not like penciling but what about not... arnab yeah what about this condition arnab what uh, you have a reason i was just uh, doing it with the rank nullity for... right that's it it's just rank nullity it is true yeah yeah it is true and it is just rank nullity theorem i i there's no, no no need to say i, I don't need to i don't need to say anything yeah right so i uh, yeah if to pay attention to the condition okay So, can anyone give an example of this kind of operator? Example. these projections are these examples uh, yes yes right yeah so of course when i just say projections it's quite it's somewhat vague some somewhat vague so i would want a uh, you know if you can study like think look at this thing or you you don't have to actually study it to begin with you can just me uh, give some concrete examples of projections uh, again you know examples of projections and so projections you know right? i'm just saying where t is equal to t square uh, examples of projections and uh, maybe how their matrix matrices look like and things like that. so that is one of the things i wanted to say but more and in, more interesting I mean, when i see this uh obviously many interesting things come to mind uh do you do you, do you see this uh, thing which i am saying which is t is injected on tv already the word operator has been brought to the table so is this correct Yes. 
this is correct right because uh, if you take if you so how should i say this well you you already saw that this is the same thing as saying that the null space in fact it's the same it's equivalent right rank nullity you know that it's the same problem both are same so then you can prove this right because if you if you take something in tv apply t on it if it is equal to 0 that implies that t square v is equal to 0 that implies v is in the null space of t and that implies v is in the null space of t square i mean t square which implies v is in the null space of t which implies tv is 0 which implies t is injected on tv not on v necessary on tv is it fine Yes. Right. I mean, these are fundamental. Uh, these are fundamental things of linear algebra. So it's good to see them and think about them. In fact, I I suppose ISI 2022, uh, the two questions were around this concept in the subject. In the objective also. No, sorry, not 2022. Uh, yeah, 2022. Uh, in math. And in the MCQs, I suppose it was there, but also in subject, two questions were around this. So, but. Uh, it's a different thing. I I'm saying this because this actually leads to something very fundamental. So this thing you see, but you should still just uh, go back and write these things and write them. <laughs> it's very important. Uh, question is... Uh, mm, Yeah, that's silly, so I will not say that. So these these things are very interesting. So suppose, so what I want to say is yes so what i want to say is there exists a t1 an isomorphism so maybe t1 is not a good notation for that let's use some phi an isomorphism. So you know, like isomorphism of vector spaces means it's just bijective. An isomorphism such that this phi t is a projection. Do you see that? Is it correct? So in 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 that sense, projections are the only examples in that sense. Is this something obvious?
is it not obvious uh, yes yes i guess so okay uh, because it's uh, same uh, it's a range and uh, images are equal and uh... range is not equal is it oh, sorry yes yes correct range is equal and uh, right so i think i think you are uh, on the right track yeah so yeah so maybe you should ch check this out later right yeah why do other things get erased i don't understand yeah this up soon updated and it became like this. yeah the fight there is such that uh, phi t square is equal to phi t Oh, and this is this, and then you can just uh... no wait. Is this? <laughs> yeah. Now I am a little confused. So... Uh, uh, I am. Confused whether uh, this is true because I know that I so this is certainly true, and this is something that you know actually. Uh, but uh, wait, I think I'm making a mess. Yeah, that is true, but that is uh, not needed here. Let's check this, okay? So we have uh, uh, right. So that's the point. So let's say that uh, let's say that this goes to zero, okay? And then there is an extension, and this thing maps injectively to W K plus one. Uh, so basically, uh, this comes down to proving the rank nullity theorem, right? If we do it like this, so you you take a, you take the kernel, you take the kernel, you take a basis for the kernel, it goes to zero. You take a you take a basis extension, right? And this goes where it goes. Correct, and uh, you know that you know that this is injective, right? I mean, you know that uh, on this it is injective. Wait, so let's write this properly on a different page. So we know that uh, null space of t is equal to null space of t square, or as Arnab said, image. Um, uh, no, wait. What image is uh, image is not the same. Image is not the same. The rank rank is the same. Correct. Yeah. Image uh, image. Ah, uh, wait. Saying wrong things. Image is also same, right? Right. Is it correct that the image is also same? Because again, by the same thing, right? Image of T square is uh, contained in the image of T, but then it will be same because they have the same dimensions because the rank is same. Yeah, yeah. that's correct. Correct, yeah. So this is a nice thing and this is okay. Now, right. So now we, now I'm saying that there are T such that 
this says that this is a projection. When you change the coordinates and make it a projection, <sighs> right. So then you that this that uh, Vn and this goes to zero and this on this it is isomorphic right but uh, this this is this really has not this is always true right this is a cardinal and this is some basis extension okay Right. Yeah, and uh, this part it is injective. This part is injective. Injective. And what do you want to do now? Yeah, so you you want to send this to VK plus one, right? And so on, you want to send this to VN. Uh, do you want to do this or no? What a mess. Yeah. So we have to choose our phi. We have to choose our isomorphism phi. No, that does not look good. Uh, no, it feels like it might not be correct. Okay, do you, uh, is this correct? is correct right so this just comes from the rank nullity theorem so from the rank nullity theorem and the given hypothesis right the rank nullity theorem tells you that this plus this is equal to v correct but uh, we just saw that the null space uh, cannot intersect with the image it was injective on the image that's the thing that so you have this that it's really breaks up nicely like this, okay? So I hope this is fine. Now you have to, if you can use this, because, because yeah, because then this basis is not so nice, 
right? You should have taken that basis. And this is really the part of linear algebra. This is really the interesting part a little bit. But yeah, I should not take any basis extension. I should use this fact. This is a very important fact. There is a direct sum. Uh, so can you use this? Yeah. So we just, uh, this is the image, right? So if we take the basis for the image. That's what this means that you can write, uh, break the, you can find a basis of this, basis of that, and the direct sum will be a basis. So let's write this as better. Maybe we, we write it like this only TW1, TW2, TWN. <laughs> Yeah, we are getting to the same thing, but this is a better way, maybe. Yeah. So we have this. Uh, now, what should we do? Oh. Yeah, this works. So this is not correct. What is correct is there is an isomorph there is an isomorphism phi such that this is a projection. Okay. Yeah. So let's so let's uh, meet again and you know, do the other, do other. This this you should try to prove that there is a phi such that this is a projection. In fact, this uh, yeah, right? yeah, because v one goes to zero and the other things are fixed. Yes. Y, then you go by T. Try to prove it later. Yeah, if I would have. 